Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we're gonna to look into age and gender detection system. Now this is a program which is able to take an image of a person, understand where the face of the person is, detect the face of the person, and then pass it through a machine learning algorithm to detect the gender and the approximate age of that person. So it's as simple as that. It's a simple application which is able to detect the gender and age of the person right there in front of you. So you can see the different types of outputs that are coming out and the application is able to read through all these images and give us the gender of the person and the age. So uh, let me go into the function light right here. This is a collab file which is coming up and there's a link in the description. If you click on it, it'll take you to this page here right here. So let me go down and show you where we are getting this from. So Learn Open CV by Satya Malik, they went into this program originally in the past and they were able to detect and they were able to give out some different types of outputs and these are very interesting. So these are the same actors or same celebrities who had acted in different roles where they had to change their gender or they had to show a different gender per se. So you can see it's the same person but it's able to give out the different genders and the different age profiles for that particular person. So it's able to give out a different type of level and it's very very nice and very very crisp. So coming down to the function right here uh, let's go into the collab file and let's try it running it. So if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing us if you want to join along in our journey in studying it about more about computer vision, AI, IoT, if you want to join along with our journey. And do consider, consider liking the video just to allow this to video to reach to different other audiences as well. So coming down here, let me just quickly factory reset runtime so it can make the collab right to the default stage, how it will be basically for you. And I'm also clearing all the outputs so it is basically right on the default how it would open if you were to open this uh, collab file. So coming down here this is the first step this is a github repository and we are just cloning the repository because I have some images test images and some files that we are going to be using for this function. So I just cloned that repository and it'll clear this folder right here for us. So you can see this age and gender detection is created. We're using the CD command just to change the directory, letting Collab know that we are now into the age and gender detection. And that is where we want the function to be running. Now, this is the next stage. We are going to be using some weight files for the machine learning deep neural network model. These are already more weight files that are trained and uh, these are ready for us to deploy. So it's going to uh, clone this repository from this. Uh, it's going to download this from the Google Drive and it'll be readily available for here right here you can see this model and weight file and if i open this it'll give you a bunch of cafe models these are all different types of team, the configuration and the weight files that were used for this face detection for the age and gender detection so all all of these are right here and once we have everything down everything downloaded everything ready for us then we are going into this function this particular application so if i click play button right here it's going to create this python file for us and it'll be all these functions will be readily available for us so what is this program doing it first takes the image and goes through a face detection system. Now there is this function called as get face box. It is just opening, it is just reading through the face detector file right here and getting the dimensions or the direct or the location of the face in the image. And it takes that information and supplies it to the gender and age detection module. It, so what is happening right here? There are basically three steps. One is reading the image and passing to the face detectors, the face is detected. And there is a small pre-processing stage. The next stage is the pre-processing stage where you're doing some sort of processing on the image. And once that is done, then you're sending it to the detector module, which is going to detect the age and gender of the person. So what are these three steps? One is simply doing the face detection. The second is pre-processing. Now, what is this pre-processing that I'm talking about? there is this function called as blob from image and what this function does is it tries to bring your image the image that you have on your file that you want to test it tries to bring that image 
onto the same level same property as the original image where this the model was trained so the researchers or the people who deployed or made these models they went through they sift through different types of images which they themselves collected and they had their own database we those images are completely different they had a different brightness they had a different profile they were on it they were taken on a different day different saturation different person so those images had a different property level and by using blob frame image we are going to bring our image to that same property level so it basically takes an image and removes all the variables all the extraneous information like the brightness the saturation the hue all these things that define an image it takes it out and it brings the image to its base bare minimum that bare minimum information of that image so it removes all the extraneous fe features from the image and it brings down to the bare minimum the bare bones that as we say and uses that image for our detection and you know it sends it to the age and gender detection not the original image so that's what the blob from image does for us and it just brings that image into that basic property so that it, when you send it to the gender or the age detection model it will give you the right output without much error so coming down here once we define all the functions we just use this simple three line snippet to read an image send it to the agent detector function and give us the output right here in the collab so you can see it's able to detect now for the next function it's going to read another image image one dot jpeg and it's going to give us the output right here similarly there is a third image here for us to test and it's giving going to give us the output right here now this last code snippet here this is to be used for video files and you can supply a video file of your own choice by changing this function this name here video.mp4 if you put down your own video file it'll be able to process your video and if you want to do this on a webcam you won't be able to do it on collab you'll have to you'll have to download it on your computer and just change this value from video.mp4 to zero because video capture for zero is nothing but reading from a webcam and it will take the frames from your webcam and process it send it to the age and gender detection frame and then give us the output in an output.avi file so it will create a video file for you and it'll be displayed here it'll be available in the main project folder right here so this is where the function is going to take care of and that's all about it in this particular function so it's simple you're just sending the image through a preprocessor and then sending it to the age detector since this is already trained it's already available the weights are already available for us to use now there, there could be chat types there could be you know, places where some of your images might not give out the right output and uh, there might be some things that might be off it could be because the gender is detected incorrectly or it could be the age that is detected incorrectly and that could happen and the number one reason for that is because of this blob from image and the reason for that is because everything else all the other functions are just simple detection they're just taking the image sending the detector and giving it the output they're not doing anything crazy but blob from image since it does that pre-processing this is the only variable that is changing so it takes this image and there's this model mean values which it's taking from here and it's basically what the original authors had used so it's able to use those functions for our, our application as well but when you are doing it and if you notice that some of the images or some of the profiles are not properly you know detecting it just try to play with a little bit of these values this 22 to 27 is nothing but cropping the image into that dimensions it is going to mod the mean values it's changing there are three channels the rgb channel and it's changing the, all the channels and bring them into this base value of these mean values of that function of that particular channel so that is where the blob from image takes care of it and that's the only variable so i would play a little bit with those values just to give out the right output now it could i mean most likely you won't get those issues but if at all you see that some of your outputs are incorrectly being detected those are the few things that i would change and nothing more 
So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. We finish this program and we, we end this application right here. So if it's something that is helping you and you would like to join along uh, in our journey into exploring more such projects, more some applications, especially into computer vision, AI, machine learning, let us know. And if there are any projects that you are working on and if it's something interesting and you would like to share with us, do consider co commenting and let us know what you're working on and how we can join in and you know, work towards that. So with that, I come to the conclusion. You guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.